Oh guys, look at this hair. I think this is the longest my hair has been in a long time. I don't know how to cut hair. My wife's not cutting my hair. It's just gonna have to keep growing until this quarantine ends. But anyway, let's get into this video. I did wanna share one thing with you guys before we get out on the water. Uh, my buddy Danny, um, if you don't know, you've heard of him. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's the, the YouTuber, Uber guy. Anyways, he shared with me this site right here. So it's a, basically a giant sea bass research site. It's put on by some people over at UCSB, University of, of California, Santa Barbara. It's a community science. So basically what that means is there's a few scientists working on the back end, um, but they really rely on the public to kind of input information, input data. So. As you can see here, there's a hundred, well actually 103 scientists now, one being Ya Boy. I just submitted my submission from that CBS I caught a few videos ago. So there's 549 reported encounters uh, with mine. And you can see here, if you look at this map, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see here in California, majority of the encounters are down in Southern California with only one recorded up here in the Bay Area, now two with mine. If you wanna see more about the sea bass, it's a pretty cool website. They got a lot of cool information. I guess giant sea bass are the biggest resident bony fish in California with the record being 563 and a half pounds, pretty big fish. But anyways, yeah, if you wanna read up more about the sea bass, the giant sea bass, um, there's a lot of good information here. Pretty cool little website here. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm a scientist. But anyways, let's get back out on the water. I got a cool video for you today. It was supposed to be a food chain challenge. The first time I've ever done that on my channel. Um, but let's just say it didn't quite go as expected, but there is some big fish involved. So we'll see you out on the water. All right guys, well today, my final day fishing the kayak in the ocean, at least for what I can see, we're gonna be doing a little food chain challenge. First things first, we're jigging up these little squid here. We're gonna use these to catch some other fish, and we're gonna use those fish to hopefully catch some big toothy fish. So stay tuned. First things first, we're gonna jig up a few of these, and then I'll catch you on the next leg of this food chain challenge. For now, this is my last day on the water, and I don't wanna spend it catching small fish. If you wanted to watch me catch small fish, you'd go watch like Nick Fish or something. Just kidding, Nick. But, um, but yeah, we're gonna go for the big one today. You know, Hail Mary, all or nothing. Leave it all out on the water. We'll see if we can make it happen. All right guys, so next leg in this video. So what I got is like a sliding, it's a slider setup. I guess you'd call it a fish finder setup. Super light tackle, there's only a three ounce weight um, with a little bead there to protect the swivel. And then about a three foot leader, three to four feet to our, what's, they call this a halibut rig, but I call it a sliding, sliding rig. You can slide this front hook. You can slide this front hook up and down to match the size of your bait. And for bait, obviously, we're gonna put on this halibut candy, AKA fresh squid. So I have rig one through the top there. Make sure that hook's coming through, the point's out. And then the second one, the back, either you can put a treble or a single J hook. That one goes back through the head back there. And then kind of tighten it down so that it's the size of your bait. And there you go, perfect little presentation there. All right guys, well, next step of the challenge, we're gonna drop our squid down all the way to the bottom. We're trying to find a rockfish, but it's very possible, very possible that something bigger could pick it up. I and mean, we're using squid. You've seen in my last, vi my recent videos, um, I caught halibut on squid. Very well, Link Kai could pick it up. Oh. Oh, right on the drop, right on the drop. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, this is a heavy fish. <laughs> this is definitely not a rock fish, for sure. I think, I mean, it's possible it's a halibut. I'm pretty sure this is a link cod, though. We pulled up on this reef. Man, right on the drop. I literally dropped it. I pulled up on this reef, dropped it down, and immediately, immediately as it hit the bottom, this fish picked it up. I said it before, man, these squid, everything will eat a squid. And I feel like once they see it, they can smell it, boom, they're right on it. So let's see what we got here. 
Oh, here it comes, here it comes. What are we looking at? Ooh, a nice sling cod, nice sling cod. All right, I didn't bring my gaff, so we're going all in on the net here. Oh yeah, do the head on that thing. All right, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Get in there. All right, we got him. Woo! All right, well, I guess a little detour on this uh, food chain challenge. We skipped right from the bottom all the way to the top. Where we, I was planning to end the video here at this at this stage, but what can I say? We'll take it. Okay, look at this guy. Dang, that's a big link cut. Wow, right on the drop too. Literally instantly when it hit the bottom. Now always, always, always when you're. Uh, Fishing in the kayak especially, since space is limited, the number one thing I always tell people whenever you catch a fish, that, especially where you're gonna keep, actually only where you're gonna keep, but uh, make sure you get them on the stringer. Because I've seen so many times people don't put it on the stringer, they're uh, you know trying to handle it, and then the fish goes crazy or something, boom, right back in the water. So we're gonna do the first thing handle that first thing here and get him on the stringer. Well, he's still in the net here. Okay. All right. Okay, now we got him locked in now. Now he's not getting away. Okay. All right, wait until I show you this guy. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh. Not done yet. Look at that, see the squid hanging out of his mouth there. That's what did him in right there, I'm telling you. Doesn't matter what kind of fish, it's, it's on the west coast, it'll eat a squid. All right, there you have it right there. A nice, nice quality link cod. I haven't caught a keeper of these in a while on my channel. Been so focused on the halibut, but these are really good eating. If you ever had fish and chips in the store, it's really similar, probably wasn't link cod. Usually those are cod, you know, Atlantic cod or wherever they come from. But it's really similar to the meat on this this wing cod right here. So let's actually let's measure. So minimum size, 22 inches. Definitely, definitely over that. But let's just get an exact measurement. Got a big old head. Yeah, 31. 31 incher. It's kind of skinny. I'd probably say he's like, I don't know, 12 pounds maybe, something like that. Look at this one. He's got a really nasty, I don't know if that's like a tumor or a scar. I think it's a scar. Yeah, definitely a scar. Actually, you can see on the other side, he's got some teeth marks. Probably when he was younger, a little bit smaller than he is now, another ling cod that was maybe this size, probably grabbed onto him right there. Luckily he got away then, but unfortunately he didn't get away from me. So look at those teeth right there. Well, it wasn't really planned this way, but I guess it's how it goes sometimes.
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I know it didn't really go as planned, but... Okay, you can't say video. Alright guys. Thanks for watching, dudes. Thanks for watching this video. I know it didn't really go as planned, but... Hey, we still got big fish and that's what this channel's all about. So, I did want to give you guys a thank you. Everyone who bought shirts, when the first big drop happened, I got way more orders than I was anticipating. But, we got them all shipped out. If you still haven't got one and you want one, there's still a few of these left. Here's the front and back. Wait, wait, wait. Good... Turn around again. Nice. Shouldn't be surprised. You guys are the best subscribers and uh, professional designers. So, anyways, thank you guys. And if you want to get some, they're still up on the website. Um, but until the next video. Oh, okay, yeah, look at this. I've been doing more calamari. I think I got this thing down. Looks a lot better than I did the first time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh no, I forgot to record. <laughs> nice try.